Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the food additives and out of which we have also discussed about the main categories of the food additives. So out of which it was food preservative. So what is food preservative and what are the use of it? This is what I'm going to talk about in this topic. So friends, now let us understand what is the definition of food preservative. So the substance which when added to the food is capable of inhibiting, retarding or arresting the process of fermentation, acidification or other decomposition of the food by the growth of microbes on it. Those substances which actually inhibit, which actually retard this growth of microbes are basically known as food preservatives. And for example, like sodium benzoate. Sodium benzoate is a common food preservative that is used in the food industry so as to preserve a food. So depending on that, we have different ways to preserve a food and those preservations are as follows. So friends, now let me talk about the physical method for the preservation of food. So there are two ways so that we could preserve a food that is a physical method as well as the chemical method. So now in this topic, we are going to talk about physical method as well as chemical method. So for now, let us understand the different methods so as to preserve food physically. So in that case, basically I'm talking about the first one that is by removal of heat. By removal of heat or by cooling we could preserve a food for example we can keep the food in the refrigerator or that is by adding certain kind of reagents so that would cool down the food and that is what we can basically retard that is growth of microbes on those food so that's the reason by removal of heat or by cooling the food we can preserve the food so talking about the next one that is by addition of heat by addition of heat means obviously we have to uh, that is increase the temperature of that food because at high temperature there are certain microbes that can't live at high temperature and that is what we can kill those microbes and we can stop the growth of those microbes on the food and that is what we can preserve the food so talking about the next one that is by removal of water so it is very much simple like that of the by addition of heat that is we have to remove the water molecules that are being present in the food for example we can dry those foods in sunlight and that's the reason that for example like pickles so that is what we are making so pickles are the one where we are using the raw mangoes so therefore the all the water molecules that would be present in that food it would get removed out so talking about the next one that is by irradiation so this is the most common Thing that is what nowadays food industries have been using because whenever they are packing food so they are making sure that there should be no kind of microbes or there should be no kind of microorganisms that that could destroy the food and making that to be unable to eat so therefore that is nowadays that is bakery industries they are using this process that is by irradiation of that is uv light or by radiation of those certain radiations so that the food so that the food will be free from that is microorganisms so therefore this is where the physical methods for the preservation of food and now let me talk about the next one so friends now let me talk about the chemical methods for the preservation of food so starting with the first one that is addition of sugar so for preparation of jams and jellies we add that is lot more amount of sugar so that in that case basically so in that case the food will be preserved so talking about the next one that is by addition of salt so by addition of salt to the food actually it will undergo through an osmosis process and that is how basically the, all the bacteria it would get dried up or it would get killed and that is what we can preserve a food that is by addition of vinegar also we can preserve a food and by addition of other chemicals like sodium benzoate we could preserve a food so nowadays it is very much important for us to understand that is why it is necessary to preserve a food because we understand that is if we keep the food for a longer time obviously there will be growth of microorganisms or microbes on those food and that could make the food very unable to eat by a human so that's the reason we have discussed the topic related to the food preservative and that's it thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much